And as we celebrate Native American Heritage Month, we take a look at a new downtown art space dedicated to Native American artists. It's called the Center for Native Futures. Leanne Trotter gives us a tour. The inaugural Native Futures exhibition features 19 established and emerging Native artists, including work from the co-founders. This is called Ancestor Speak. Deborah Yepa Papen is Hamis Pueblo and Korean. This is a visual repatriation. This depiction of ancestral pottery is her attempt to rescue it from the museum it sits in. Co-founder Monica Rickard Bolter is Prairie Band Potawatomi and Black. Her piece is about domestic violence. The red handprints in the back, uh, that symbolizes um, missing and murdered indigenous women. Both artists are happy to have their own space to showcase the work of indigenous artists. My husband and I, we were finding it a hard time to just find space or a gallery or somewhere that represents native art. The center opened in June and they mounted this exhibition, their first, mid-September. There are so many different tribes that people have no idea what those art styles are like, what their crafts are like, and how people are sustaining and maintaining those traditional practices and expanding on them. The gallery's mission is to promote Native visual artists, writers, poets, dancers who have been underrepresented to showcase their art in the way they want to create it. And coming up in December, Center for Native Futures is hosting a symposium highlighting Native curators. Native curators are just as important as Native artists. You know, they're the ones that are, um, you know, making sure that we're being represented in different institutions. They're the ones that are helping to guide where Native art is going. Check Center for Native Futures website for event info and gallery hours. Reporting from The Loop, Leanne Trotter, NBC5 News.